Hi, right, good evening, everybody. Welcome. Wow, very fast. Huh? Next two weeks will be school holidays ready, right? Right. So uh I can't yeah, I tell you, I'm not sure which day are you coming for the uh creative writing skills. For you, I tell you you got two days. Uh, one is for creative and one is for paper two. Uh, I leave huh? it to you. Lah. Wait, 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 wait. What? Because wait, so it, based on the date you send, it's the fourth, fifth, and sixth step, right? Correct though, yes. So I do I only have to so me and HR have to come for both. I suppose right? to come both or come one or don't come up to you. Not compulsory. Yeah, I can I can only Tuesday and Wednesday. The Monday I'm not in Singapore. I'm still not in Singapore. No problem, no problem. Okay. Yeah. So uh you 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 let me know soon, huh? Okay. You just ask again next week, oh, then I'll tell you. In case no, I, I forget. I need to book the place and cater food and things like that. So yeah. So Kang Yao, please okay. let, me know, let, let me know soon, oh, Kang Yao. Are you coming? Uh I have to see because uh my parents have made plan to go to Malaysia. Oh, you're still going to Malaysia? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh you are Malaysian, man? Eh? Uh no, we just want to go there because it's uh it's something new. It's not like in Singapore. Uh Malaysia got so many nice places to visit. Yeah. Uh, be, uh, careful, be careful of your wallet. And if you are going to the toilet now, be careful. Huh? Hey, is it recording? Huh? Am yeah. I right? Yeah. And be careful. Huh? I got one student who went to the toilet with another girl at one very dark alley. And then suddenly he went to the toilet. Then the 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 owner, uh like no, okay, the parents were looking for her. And then when the parents asked the owner, Wait, do you see two Chinese girls heading here for a toilet? And he refused to tell the, the mummy. But somehow rather, thank God, the customer using the eye power to say that, that way, that way, she's there, she's there. And wow, thank God. She, okay, be careful. Are you this the first time you're going to Malaysia? Uh, no. But then be careful. Huh? Your wallet, your handphones, everything. Uh, it's not okay. like safe as Singapore, to be honest. And I never drive my car to Malaysia. My car is a virgin car, never enter Malaysia. So far, I got so I bought a few secondhand car, I think five or six. I never in my life drive my car to Malaysia. So I don't like the the the, the traffic there and the security there and, and things like that. The people there are nice, some people there are nice, the environments, the uh, the scenery are very nice. But the security is not nice, uh, let's be honest. All right, so uh let's move on. Uh, honey, I'm not sure what happened. I just sent a message first. Huh? Okay, it's very close. Um, to but I think Kanya, please let me know by next week. Huh? Okay, so okay. If you're coming or not, just let me know. So it's uh these three days. So can you uh one of the days will be creative writing skills, of course. Huh? okay. Okay, so uh Hanlin is not here, so but it's recording. So I wouldn't want to talk about this one first because I would prefer he comes in, then we talk discuss more on that. So this is uh creative writing essay number four. So to prove to you that uh well leaders are made and not born. Uh, I, I quite disagree, uh, Kang Yao, because I still feel that you are born to be a leader, you're born to be here for a reason. Okay, so it's just like um you guys are saying mates, right? I think last week I say right, Jesus Christ are born to come to this world. To save the world. Buddha are born to this world to save the world. Okay, most of the people, okay, even Hitler, Stalin, uh, Mao Zedong, Qin Shi Huang, um, Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, you name uh, uh, those people that you mentioned, Kang Yang. Okay, I feel that they are born into this world for a purpose, for a reason, for something to help the world. And then along the way, they make through, through like a raw diamonds carved out from the mountains through rain and shines and all the difficulties that the a diamond went through. And then slowly the craftsman craft it so nicely that become a very shining, expensive diamonds. Okay, it's just like gold, right? Gold is also a natural resources. Okay. And and it's not easy to get gold house a day. It seems like depleting. So it's just like anyone can be born to be a leader. So if you are writing an essay, what is leadership? Okay, you have three types of leadership, of course. The first one is the one of the best leader, the good leadership. And then, of course, the second type is a bad leadership. Then, of course, the third type is leader among leader of the leaders. That means leader built leaders. 
I think that is the best part of that because with that, uh, you can see um, reason number one, with this kind of leadership qualities, you are able to, <clears throat> excuse me, you are able to kind of nurture and inculcate and, and build up whatever you are the leaders to your next generations. So for your children next time, maybe for your grandchildren, or even if you are a teacher next time, or even your lecturers, or even your son or CEO of the company, you want to pass your this leadership to the next person. So I feel that um, the ingredient is that a leader is born. Why? Because it's very simple. If you are not born in this world, how are you going to make to become a leader? It can be a Tom, Dick and Harry. Anybody can be a leader. Okay, they are born to be a leader, but what kind of quality leadership that is along the way you build it. It kind of motivate yourself to be a good leader. All right? So let's read on to leaders are made, not born introductions. Uh, Kang Yao, can you start with the first parable? Uh, 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 according to Gregory 2009, a leader is an individual who has the ca capacity and desire to inspire and influence his or her subjects. There has been a lot of debate on whether a leader is born or made. Some people believe that a great leader ha has some in some inborn attributes, while others are confident that leadership abilities, just like other skills, can be learned with time. It is agree is vital to agree that leadership is a vital provision. N nonetheless, great leaders are not born with their abilities; they are made. Yeah, I disagree with these statements. They say, nonetheless, great leaders are not born with their abilities. And not true. Like. If you talk about Sir Thomas, no, Sir Isaac Newton and Thomas Edison, all these people, I feel that they are born with some leadership qualities. That's why they can become a famous person. But of course, along the way, they learn through education. They learn through their mistake. They learn through trial and errors. Okay, now, uh, can you and Kang Yao, please look at this paragraph here. Huh? As you can see, these aims here, this is uh, exactly, I think, four sentences, if I'm not wrong. So which one do you think A stands for the atmosphere, I stands for interesting um, uh, sentence that you feel that is interesting, M stands for the motivation statements, and S, of course, the suspend. So which one do you think? Okay, let's start with Kenyu first. Kenyu, which one do you think? Okay, so um, this, uh, I told you, right, we, right. we want to concentrate on the first uh, paragraph right okay so this is the second sentence this will be the third sentence and uh this will be the fourth sentence uh gentlemen as you know on the first of september is going to be what day are uh, kang yao president election kang yao you agree yeah uh so you know so teachers day yeah uh, uh no teachers day has postponed to uh on the but, technic but technically it is meant to be in yeah. a way Okay, but anyway, um, they have postponed to 11, so you have a long 11 day of holidays. Huh? In fact, no, like, it should be 12 days, right? Because on the 31st of August, you guys only study half day, right? Because of celebration. It's not even half day for my school. It's just okay. celebration and that's it. Huh? So until 10 o'clock and then go home. Yeah, because they have to evacuate the place because some of the school are used for voting center. Is your school used for voting center? Uh, yes. Yes, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you see, that means uh, you got 12 days of holidays. So I think honestly, uh, Kang Yao at all, you please uh, make use of this 12 days holiday. Because if I'm not wrong, after that, on the 20th of September onwards, uh, to all the way to 29th of September, uh, you'll be having your final year examinations. Uh. So please make use of these 12 days of holidays. Yeah, of course, you can go and enjoy yourself. And then unwind yourself, and then come back, refresh yourself and do it. Okay. But same thing, uh, uh, Kang Yao. Whether you're coming or not, sir, there will be an essay for you to prepare for your exam. So you die, die. Uh, you have not had any homework so far for the past few lessons. So you still have to submit your homework, uh, uh, written homeworks. So there are three choices for you. One, of course, is doing here now online, which I don't advisable uh, okay, for the actual exam. The second option will be written. That means you write on a piece of paper, then you use your handphone to scan and send it to me. If you cannot make it for the face-to-face -face exam. Of course, the last one would be the best. You can come to Glassroom Club and sit down for one hour and 15 minutes, complete the entire full exam paper. 
I will mark, then I will scan the paper and send it to you. All right. So, uh, okay. So one, two, three, four. Can you which one is? Wait, ja, I, I want to ask one thing. Sure. Uh, a, a stands for what again? Atmosphere. Sorry. The atmosphere. So you see, uh, uh, Tian Yu and, and Kang Yao and Harley, we need to create oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. atmosphere. Let me finish first. Uh. You need to yeah. create atmosphere to bring your, your readers and the club to come in to, to want to know what you're talking about. Just like the three presidential elections, if you have the time for the next few days, please go and turn on the TV and watch and, and, and you will know what I meant. Because um, they always must have a strong introduction to attract the attentions and awareness of the first, the viewer to continue want to watch uh, his rally and his speech and his suggestion of how he deserved to be the next president of Singapore. So the atmosphere must be there. Okay. Hi, Han Ling. You able to turn on your camera? Okay, so uh, it's okay if you cannot. Uh, can you? My camera doesn't turn on. My bad. Sorry, Joe. Don't worry, don't worry. Your, your camera not working, huh? Okay. Uh, can you? So which one? A stands for the atmosphere. I stand for the interesting sentence. That is fine. That you find that it's very interesting to bring out. M is the motivation statements. Motivation statements and S stand for the suspend. To create the suspend. Okay. I said, I mean, for I, it's the first sentence. Oh, okay. Because they, it's like, right off the bat, she, they just brought out like a, like a, someone to use it as evidence. So that's I. S is the ending. Oh, yes, clever boy. Usually the suspect, right? Because the yeah. last sentence, the suspect just says, hey, hey, hello, you know what why should you think I should write like that? And why should I put in this manner? Then, if you want, continue the next paragraph. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And then atmosphere is most likely three is to add on along with the suspense. It, I feel like they are like together to make it. Wait, 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 wait. Can you you are saying for this one is what? Uh? uh that one is interesting start. So I Okay, then this one will be of course the suspense. Your S. And then this one will be the the I or uh, the M. No, no. The M, right? Oh no, A. Uh, a and then two of just be ML. Okay, this will be the M. Can I type T S? Eh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I I say, I say, sorry, sorry. Okay. I, I Thank you. Okay, bro. Uh the two of you. So, uh, Harling, you just came in just to tell you this is the first paragraph if you are reading it. So, I there are just nice four sentences for an introduction using AIMS. So, Tenyu is using this as his um, way of introductions. Okay. So, uh, Kang Yao, which one do you think? Uh... Uh, Never mind, no, there's no right or wrong answer, ha, Kang Yao. It's all you decide, you feel that you see, by right, it's supposed to be number one atmosphere, then creating an interesting uh, set sentence, uh, motivation statements, and then finally the suspend. I think the atmosphere is the, number the one, second paragraph. Second paragraph. One, second, let me second sentence, la. Yeah. There is your A. Uh. Okay. Uh, the interesting statement is uh, sentence number four. Oh, you put this as number four? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh... Hey, how can I got this? Uh, while others are okay. Yes. Uh, I think number one is motivation. Oh, okay. And then, of course, uh, this one will be your interesting. No, is it interesting? Uh, suspense. 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 Uh. Oh, why you want to choose this as suspense? Wait, uh. Uh, why do you think some people believe that a great leader has some 
inborn attributes while others are confident that leadership's abilities just like other skills can be learned with time what makes you think this sentence is suspended it's like um to me i feel like mm. a sentence to prepare for the last sentence for the oh line. wow okay so you add in that kind of ingredients ah that could add to that that sentence right yeah Mm, okay, thank you so much. Uh, Han Ling, what about you, Han Ling? Sorry? Which one do you choose? So there are one, two, three, four. Using the AIMS. Okay, A stands for the atmosphere. I stands for the interesting sentence. M stands for the motivations uh, uh, line. And the S stands for the suspense. So M is the, like, the motivation statement. Math is the same as English. Everything the same, ah? Yeah, yeah. So this one, uh, let me put a hard link. You are saying this will be your interesting start, is it? Right? Then oh, this... you can't see me nodding. I was nodding to absolutely nothing. Yeah, I can't see you nodding. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was looking, busy typing also. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, same as uh, Ken Yu, ah, okay. And then number three, you so Han Ling, you are talking about this as well as atmosphere. All right, so this one here will be oh suspend. Now for Uncle Raymond, uh, according to uh, Gregory, a leader is an individual who has the capacity and desire to inspire and influence his or her subject. I would think that he's actually creating an atmosphere. For me, I put R S is me. Yeah, I would think he's creating an atmosphere to bring up. The essence of why leaders are born, and sorry, why leaders are not born are mixed. Then is the next thing is kind of to me. I find these statements, I find these statements is pretty interesting because uh, there has been a lot of debate on whether a leader is born or mixed. That's why I find that this statement is interesting because. Uh, interesting in such a way that is why we are writing this essay that is why we are debating that is why we are arguing that is why we want to weigh hey hello which one is really come first the chicken or egg that kind of things so I find it, this is a very interesting sentence okay and then of course this will be kind of to me is a, uh, creating the uh, motivations because uh, it motivates in set a statement because some people believe that a great leader has some inborn attribute while others are confident that leadership's ability just like other skills can be learned with time so it's like okay it's an interesting argument if create the atmosphere for me to tell me gregory gregory are leaders and all this blah blah stuff inspire okay fine and then saying the interesting sentence would be like okay there's been a lot of debate for the good leader born or mates okay and it's the the most important thing the the motivation statement is that some people believe it motivate me to further want to know more about it. And then it says this here. All right, so it's vital to be that leadership is a vital provision. Nonetheless, great leaders are not born with their abilities. So if I am the person, I'll tell you, if I'm the person, I die, die, say it's born, it's born, it's not me. You know, so there's my argument. So last week, they asked you, can you, how far can you see that? They ask like, huh? Yeah, I appreciate you did. Did I? And then did you say something about how we can see the sun also or something like ah, that? So, correct, correct. So, Kang Yao, our eyes actually can see beyond the sun, the star, the moon so far. But sometimes our eyes feel us to be what not able to keep because this one we were talking about success and failure, right? So sometimes our eyes feel us to see beyond us. You know, yesterday I tell you, Han Ling and uh, Kang Yao. I got one student, uh, a set two student, you know what she said, I'll tell you. I can see beyond my future. Wow. My eyes can see beyond my future. That's a good one. Eh? Very good. Beyond my future. I can see the multiverse. Uh. What is multiverse? Uh? According to what? The Avengers. Uh. You can see different universes. Is, it? is there a word called multiverse? This I heard before. First time I heard before. Multiverse. Okay. Anyway, thank you for this introduction, sir. So, um, like the eyes itself, you're using your brain to see or using your heart to feel. So, same thing when you write your introductions. Is it you're using the logical way to write an introductions? Or you want to use, be more passionate 
and putting in to make sure that these introductions can bring good quality for people to continue to read your essay, continue to view it. Why is it you're able to persuade them that it's made and not born, all right? So, right, thank you for all of us participating in the first paragraph. Uh, Honey, are you able to read the, the next paragraph, please? I am. You're eating, ah? Uh? Oh, no, no, no. First, most leaders neither carry forward their legacy nor do their backgrounds suggest they can make good leaders. For example, children of great leaders do not necessarily become leaders. This shows that leadership skills are not a hereditary trait, but are skills which are learned through many processes. In the global arena, Obama's parents were never leaders. However, their son, Barack Obama, has managed to nurture his leadership skills to lead the greatest nation in the world. In this context, the greatest leaders are not born. They are made, as indicated earlier. I agree that Barack Obama, their parents are not leaders. But when they give birth to Barack Obama, it's already a signal to say that a leader is born. It's just like you can argue whatever it is. I still use my own religions. Jesus Christ is a very good example. Jesus Christ is born to be a leader, to lead the world. And he know that at the age of 31 or 33, I can't remember, so sorry, that he knows he's going to be crucified and die on the cross for the sins of all the humans. So Buddha, he used to be a prince inside the palace to be the next uh, king. And then the fortune teller, the priest tell the father, if you let your son out of the palace, he's not going to be a prince. So he's not going to be uh, taking over your kingdom because he wants to know what is birth, um, illness, old age, and death. So that I feel that um, just like, okay, uh, can, can, I, can, you, can you agree with me? Do you think Hitler is born or made? Since you have studied history. It was made, it was made. No, I disagree. If he didn't go through all that in World War One, I, I don't think he would become the ruler of Nazi Germany. You see, I, I got student argue, Uncle Raymond. Uh, anybody uh, can save he, um, blah, 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 can save Germany, but it just happened that 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 time is Hitler. So that to me, I feel that Hitler was born, okay, to really run the countries. A few things, for example, my struggles. He knows through. He was born. You look at his family background, just like Stalin, okay? Just like Stalin, just like Qing Shi Wang. You can name it. So for Hitler, I feel that he was born to be a leader, okay? And of course, he doesn't know he's going to be the great uh, fuller or chancellors or, 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 or the, the leaders of the Nazi um, empire, uh, Nazi regime. But I feel that he start to have that kind of quality. Yes, same thing to Barack Obama's parents. They might not have the quality as a leaders, but you see, if they don't have these parents, Obama will not be born, Barack will not be born in that family. So I feel that there's always a reason. Okay, you can say I based on religions, I based on my belief, but from doing so many history books and read so many history books and teaching for so many years of history, going through so many wonderful leaders, just like Genghis Khan, he was born to be in the tribes and save the Mongols empire. Right to me, I feel that yeah, okay, seriously, Hanley, you are so the leaders. You're born to be a leaders. Okay. Maybe next time, not maybe, sorry, correction. Next time you are the CEO, or maybe you are the general. But your daddy or grandfather are not general. But do you know there are some family background where you say my great grandfather was a soldier, my grandfather was a soldier, my father was a soldier, I am also a soldier, same like police. So I feel that about 20% of the world, including myself, I feel that leaders are born. I do not know why they say make. If there's no born to be a leader, how can you make a leader? Yes. So make from dough, right? So it's like flour or you call flour or flour, flour. 那请问面粉是从一个种子生出来,对吗? From a seed,对不对? A seed,对吗? Daniel, 那个seed become seeding, then 变成卖,卖,对吗? 卖,然后我们去拔那个卖,然后去做那个dough,然后做,对吗? So if a seed is not born, how do you make a bread and eat, man, brother? True not? You realize the seed start to grow and grow, just like you, you see, you, you want to make apple juice, ah? Where the apple come from? It come from a seed, ma. Then the seeding, then a tree, then a young plant. Sorry, a tree, 
then grow to a tree, then apple tree, uh, uh, no, sorry, no. Then you got the flower, then start to become apple. Then you pluck the apple, you make fruit juice. You make fruit juice. Is apple born? You know, is apple juice made or born? Something like that. I don't know. Agree or not, Hanin? You agree with this argument or not agree? Back to you, Hanin. Sorry, sorry. You agree or not agree? Agree or not agree on what? Oh, you are eating up. Okay. Yeah. So let me explain. Uh, uh, you, you say your say meat. Uh. So like apple juice, like main pound, you main pound come from a seed, do you from a, a, a oaks then slowly grow, it could become a a a, a wheat, a wheat that uses like a wheat, W H E A T wheat. Uh. Then just like apple, right? You know you make apple juice, do you mind, honey? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you make apple juice. How where does apple come from? Apple come from a seed, Tima. It starts to grow from a seed. It was born, then it grow, become seeding, become a young plant, become a tree, then flower, and then become apple. Then you pluck the apple. The apple was born, right? You pluck the apple. Then you go through the process. You de-skin it. You, you take out the, 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 the skin, not skin, uh, the, yeah, the apple skin. And then you, you go and you go and chop into pieces. Then you grind and then become apple juice. You agree now? Then you, uh, Haling. You think my, my example is good enough to say that I'm using an apple compared to a leader that are born. I think that's a pretty good um uh I think I think that's a pretty good uh what do you call that comparison. Analogy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, uh can you thank you, thank you, sir. Ha uh, can you how about you? You think my example is good to use? As apple juice made and apple was you need the apple apple was born and become apple juice just a human just a leader was born and then become made and then become just the rest is history uh, I think no no be honest be... don't worry if you think you don't agree it's okay it, uh, to a point yes or why but, mm, what if the apple that was like uh, uh rotten or uh got uh eaten by birds. Mm. Exactly. Well done. Well said, huh? Yefe was born to be a general. Okay. But nearly that because of the flood, he nearly killed his mom and his kill is that. Okay, but then because of Tian Yi, yeah, Tian Yu, Lao Tian Yu Yen, he made Yefe and survive too. Yeah, I agree. There are some leaders that children are born to be leaders all children are born to be a leaders but halfway through because sorry uh, uh Kang Ya, since you say rotten apples it's true right i'm so sorry uh, Kang Ya, i'm very sorry I, I i can't see your face either your thumbs up or thumb down you don't agree with me i strongly believe in every school there will be some rotten apples as a teachers i don't treat them as rotten apples but they sometimes say they are rotten apples so no matter how much you want to help them it's beyond your control Agree or not, Kang Oh uh, Yes. So you see, they are born to be leader, but they choose to be a bad leader. They want to make themselves to be a bad leader. Like the apple itself. The apples are born to be apple, but somehow the an environments, you know, the situations are so unlucky that the, the worms come and attack. Or it happened, the whole entire tree was become corroded. No choice. Right? So agree? Yes. Thank you. How about Tenyu? I answer your question uh, Han later. Well, I, I wait for Ken Yu to reply. Ken Yu, do you agree with my example using Apple and Leader? Apple and Leader? Mm-hmm. What? You uh, know what I'm talking about? Nah. Okay, I'll ask you. Have you eaten meat bowl? Right? Yeah. But meat bowl is from a seed grow to grow into a wheat and then meat bowl. Yeah. So apple juice is not made apple juice. Uh -huh. Apple juice, you make, right? Artificial apple juice, but you need, still need apple juice, right? Yeah. So I ask you, apple is start from a seed, then grow to a seeding, then go to a plant, go to a tree, then flower, mm -hmm. then booms into apple juice, right? Uh -huh. So there's always say a rotten apple, like what Kang Yao say, rotten apple. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So yep. my example, an apple and a leader comparison, is it good enough? That means I use leader. I mean, yeah. I mean, to prove, to, to prove the point that leaders are made, yes. Because you can't say they are grown. No, leaders they are, are born. 
No, sure, you cannot. Then it's not it's not like you think about it. I mean I get your example. It's actually a good one. But if you look into it, right? Mm-hmm. If you realize, right, you actually need water to make it grow. Mm. Cause without water, it will just be a seed. It will just be a seed there. No, you will die. It's... If you need the warm, the sunlight, everything, uh, the fertilizer, too much. Actually, wait, what? Seed die, man. I thought I thought the seed was just like if you just throw it on the ground, it will just be there no. forever. Or like until something. If, hey. if the soil is wrong soil, you will never grow. That's why you say the process of every apple is different based on different environment. That's why Honey said it's true. Oh. It's true. Yeah, just it. So therefore. If you just give it, give it a C and you just put it there, do nothing about it in a like a different environment, it will not become a tr- a sapling and then a, I mean seedling and then so become a tree, become an apple. It won't, cause you that uh, if that's why you need people like to help water it, make hmm. sure it's at the right condition and stuff. Okay, and that's also cool. about the different environment. It's also quite interesting, cause it's like it's like when you say different every apple is like the process is different hmm. in different locations like it's like mm-hmm. the leaders are made different ways in different locations in all right world. just the like fuji thing. apple the the apple from japan from sri lanka just like you know we got china Jizu, japan pakistan yeah. afghanistan and different parts of the world that, that, that sell the mandarin orange yes i agree with you but if you don't need the p- proper water fertilizer the soil the environments then the seed will not grow. That means that leader was not born. It's not born. But if the leader is born based on different environments, uh, to answer Han questions, a different environment means, you see, uh, why do men have three thousand years? Men, men just is already be a leader. He cannot, he has to change the environment so that he will be, he will make to be a good leader under the leadership of Kong Zi. Kong Zi, right? Yes. Ah, Kong Zi, the two thing. So the same thing I, I would answer you, uh, tell you. Yes, if the water is not there, not enough water, not enough fertilizer, this leader will not be born. That means it's gone. But if there's still quite a bit, I'm um, not using the passion to grow this apple tree. But when you grow, it might be, uh, the apple will not be very strong, very weak. That means this leader are born, but they do not have the ingredients as a leadership. He doesn't have the ingredient or she doesn't have the ingredients to be a good leader. So if you always put the zhaogu, like you, you, you take care well, uh, just like your parents taking care of you well. Because you are born into the family. To them, you are a leader already. They didn't make you. Can you? When you start to walk, Kang Yao, Han Ling, when you start to walk, do you look at the books now? Step one, baby, can you? Must walk left, and put your left leg in and left right leg out. You ma? May you ah? You are born with the instinct, you are born with the instinct, right? So when you see, when your baby are crying, you, you do not know whether the certain thing is shock object or not, but you're born. Some be- babies are very intelligent. They know, oh, this thing can touch, that thing cannot touch. Uh, so maybe from young, you see, the baby is really got this instinct and nobody teach the baby what to do. They have the incline, they have the DNA. So I still strongly believe leaders are born with a lot of hidden gems inside. Okay, it's just that scientifically cannot prove. So I have no choice but use my religion that like Jesus was born in this world to say. So Jesus is there. So that's why I feel. Okay, you can disagree with me, whatever it is. So this is why I meant. So Kang Yao, when you're writing in your essay, you have to convince your readers, your audience, your examiner that why your point is so solid enough that they convince you that it's totally different from the 99 essay that is saying mate. And, but yours is brought bond. But that is the difference of it. So through this argument, you can use the apple or lemon tree or whatever it is. So I feel that make is the process. If you do not have a leader to be born, hey, hello, brother, how to make the leader? <laughs> if leaders is not born, how to make him to be a good leader? You must have something, you must have a tangible object right in front of you. Then you can make ma. Like if you want to make a website, you need a computer, right? Uh, things like that. So I, I'm not sure uh, whether you agree or not. Thank you so much. Next paragraph, can you? Okay. Usually, it starts with a personal decision to become a leader. However, there are certain attributes that constitute good leadership ability that are inborn. One such attribute is intelligence. Intelligence. Yes. Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Yes. So now you understand why your parents ask you to study the study. Yeah. 
get kang yao. My aim is to make sure that you go to university. But at the end of the day, when you graduated from university, can you really find a good job? Can you? Can I promise you? Or Uncle Raymond, you asked me to study under university. I graduated with it, so I still cannot find the job that I want. I got job offer, but that's not the job I want. I can't promise you that. I cannot promise you that you get a ten thousand a month or of hundred thousand a year salary. But I can promise you that with the educations, the university education is a very big shield to protect you against other things. So because of that, you start to build in all your intelligence, and this intelligence will pass down to your next generation. Unless you tell me, sorry, Uncle Raymond, I don't intend to get married. Even I get married, I don't intend to have kids. Fair enough, fair enough. But you already have this intelligence inside you. Okay, Kang Yao, Han Ling and Tian Yu. And you can use this intelligence that what you have learned over the years through studies and educations. You can share this knowledge with others. You can pass this knowledge to others. You can inculcate the next generations. You no need to be a teacher. You can be some mentor. You can be your uncles with to certain people, or you can have a become a god dad or god uncle. No, so no, that's that's what I meant. So it all depends on the DNA, the genes. So the more you study, the more you have knowledge, the more you're educated, the more you learn through a lot of experience. That is where the intelligence built in. Carry on, continue. Okay. A leader should be intelligent enough to make the right decision in any kind of, of situation. For example, Nelson Mandela of South Africa managed to nutrient his leadership skills. Nature, not neutral. Continue. Nelson Mandela is one of the first uh, Af South African presidents. He was jailed for more than fifteen to twenty years, then came out and become the president of uh, South Africa. So. A lot of people say Nelson Mandela is like is made to be a president. I I will have to agree with Han Ling. Uh. So Nelson Mandela was born in South Africa, if I'm not wrong. I didn't really go through his biography. Uh. So if Nelson Mandela assume, uh, don't presume Nelson Mandela is born in South Africa, that means he was born with the situations. And when he was born, he's he got a mission a objectives, a visions. Okay. Uh, mission vision statements that I need to transform this country to, to prevent apartheid. That means against the blacks prejudice. So he worked very hard to it to, to nurture the leaderships. So the next leader who's taking over, okay, is definitely also born to be the next leader. It's just like Tian Yu, your son, Han Ling, your son next time, and Kang Yang, your son or daughters, okay? They will sure have some leadership quality from you because it's your own flesh and blood. So no matter how, so Tian Yu, you might be a doctor. Okay, Kang Yao, you might be a lawyer. Okay, Han Ling, you might be a general. Okay, but then your children may not have your quality to be what general doctors or lawyer. But they are in built inborn intelligence. They may use it for other purposes. So Tian Yu, maybe your son don't want to be a doctor. He becomes psychologist. Right? Uh, Han Ling, your, your son don't want to be a general, but maybe he want to be a police commissioner. He, he feel that killing is not the way to do. I want to protect. So Kang Yao, he doesn't want to be a lawyer. He decided to be a lecturer uh, to teach about law things, for example. Uh, so that is something, look, you can see the progressive successions. Very simple, uh, look at your own grandfather to your father and to yourself, law. Correct now, you're born in the family. Sorry, I tell you, you're too lan. Sorry, ah, your 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 grandfather will be too lan. Your father will be too lan, right? Sorry, ah, don't be angry, huh? Right? So you are born into the family, accept it. So you are not made. Along the way, you are made, but you are born. That is very important. Last paragraph, please, Tian Yu. Generally, leadership skills are harder, hardly heritage, hereditary. 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 Just hereditary hmm. abilities. Right. An individual who eventually becomes a great leader undergoes many learning processes. They study other leaders, try to intimidate their conducts, and select their role, model, role models. Most American leaders have cho chosen Abraham Lincoln as their role model due to his intelligence and leadership skills powers. Pace 2006. Of course, great leaders can falter. 
However, they can improve their skills with the feedback they get from different people. This helps them to this helps them develop into great leaders since they are able to transfer transform their behavior to bet to the better. Go two thousand two. So you tell me, Antonio, since you're reading this part, uh, do you agree Li, Li Guan Yu is born to be a leader or made to be a leader? I will ask Tian Yu, uh, I will ask Han Ling later and Kang Yao, uh, please listen. Uh. Nah, 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 nah. I feel Yu like he, he's, he's very unique though. Like huh? He's the only one where I can kind of say he's, it's more towards of his like, his inborn, his like born abilities to lead rather than main. Like obviously still need me I'm um, still need people train him and stuff, but I feel like if I were to rate it out hundred percent, it's probably like seventy percent of his actual talent while thirty percent of him being made. Wow, That's so 30, for me, uh thirty is made, seventy still, still yeah. born now, huh? They yeah. Were, mm, okay. Nia cut out the great grandfather to grandfather to his father, then you know. And now of course uh tell you, you don't need to look too far. Look at this and no. Pima. Oh his son. Lorena. And then look at this and no son. Okay, how about Kang Yao? Do you think uh LKY is born of it? Uh I think I think it is uh still made. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Please explain. Uh I don't really know the history of Lee Kuan Yu, but I mean, from I, your experience, uh, okay, from what you see, I mean, yeah, I believe you study the set one history and set two history, right? So, yeah, tell me whatever you know, it's okay. Uh, uh, what I feel is that, uh, I think he just, he's just in a, like, I, I remember he's in a kind of a wealthy family and, uh, and he survived for what this, uh, this execution. So I think he might have this motivation to uh learn and uh lead Singapore so they will not get like attacked by other countries. Oh, you read about the the Lee Kuan Yew was uh nearly executed by the Japanese during the World War II, right? Yeah. Uh then he was knelt down for long hours, right? Yes. And then he managed to speak some Japanese correct now. Yeah. It was yeah, so survival skill, huh? Yeah. yeah. So I feel that this all this what you mentioned, sir, if Lee Kuan Yew from young do not learn all this, uh, he has born to be that. Uh. Not everybody was born to be like him, so smart uh, that he can, wow. That's so very intelligent. The, the EQ quotient uh, is very important. Uh. So I agree. Uh, that's your ideas. Okay, how about Han Ling? What do you think, Han Ling? Is it leader Lee Kuan Yew born or me? I think Lee Kuan Yew, Lee Kuan Yew is definitely me. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. His autobiography itself, he, he already said. It, it wasn't... Okay, okay, firstly, we need to discuss the fact that it wasn't just him working on the country, it was him and his whole team. It already gives you some signs that, okay, I, I want to lead the country, so I learn from the people around me. I surround myself with the best people, the best team possible, so we lead the country together. Not just by himself. Well done. Mm -hmm. Some of the biggest proofs. And then secondly, he lived through the... um. Invasion of uh, Jap Japan, right? Yeah. So like, he kind of knows already that oh, this is a tyranny, this is a leadership, and then he also watch watches as the British fail to lead the country. Mm. Uh, and then yeah, he learned from these two and make Singapore uh, a good a good place. It's the best way to describe it for me. Do you know what? Thank you. Any more? Uh, nothing else. Okay, thank you, sir. Do you know the old folks are huh? usually my mother generations, my my parents generations. Huh? or even my grandparents' generations. That means it's your great grandparent generation. They feel that Lee, Lee Kuan Yew was born at the right place, at the right time, at the right country, <laughs> at the right era to make Singapore a Greek nation. So they say that uh, this is sometimes they believe in karma and they believe in something good, things that happen for Singapore. Like It's like once in the blue moon that you will find such a great leaders. Uh, think for example, if today we do not have Qin Shi Wang, China will be not unified. If today we do not have Mao Zedong, uh, China will not kick out the Kuomintang, and China will become a one united China. I can't wait to see one united China between China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, and Mongolia, the internal and external outer Mongolia. 
okay, and uh, certain parts of islands belongs to China. Because if you study history, you should know lah. That's how we get it in. But nevertheless, I feel that um, whatever you say is not wrong. It's true that uh, a great leaders like Lee Kuan Yew, it needs all these uh, ingredients and recipe. So the same thing, uh, how, okay, let's go back to creative writing skills. How are you going to use whatever we de de debate and discuss? Can we use this in our essay writing? Definitely it can be done. It's just that how you use the choice of words, the power, the language, you use it, they convince. Of course, through talking and writing is a bit different because your tonality is different. Your purpose may be a bit not so in life when you're right, maybe. But I think um, you are there because what we want is to not, there's no right or wrong answer. What we want is to, how can we convince you that my point is much better than what you think that is not good. My point is able to say that I have a very matured answer that I can not only convince you, but I can persuade you to come to my side. And, and support my ideas and stand on my side. Hey, looks, you see, I am even not just convince you, I persuade you, I convince you to come to my side, all right? So thank you, uh, the three of you. Seriously, it's a very good uh, uh, discussions. And I feel it's a good thing that we, we talk about this because uh, there's one year, Kang Yao, I think I can't remember, that was the old syllabus. It came out, what is leadership? And uh, one of my students, uh, I think now he's, I think he just graduated university. Uh, he went to a long path, Kang Yao. He was in uh, San, I think San Gabriel. He was in San Gabriel, then he, he went to uh, N, NA, then he went to ITE. Then after IT, ITE, higher nine tech, he went to Poly. Then of course, Poly graduated, his result was pretty good, enough to go for uni. Then, of course, uh, he need to serve national service, then go for uh, after national service two years, he joined, uh, he came out and studied. And I think now he graduated already and worked for some somebody else. And I still remember during his NA um, as questions or O-level questions, or I think he went to set five. I think he went to set five, I can't remember. There was this question, if you go and find out one of the GCO level, what is leadership or um. Or can you name one of the person that create leadership to you or something like that? He mentioned my name. He said one of my, uh, how I become a good leader or how I can be a good leader is through this Uncle Raymond who had taught me, believe in me, mold me and understand. And I remember I say that it's not about me. After he finished the exam, he called me out and say, hey, Uncle Raymond, I wrote this about you and this. Yeah, thank God. Um, not say thank God, sorry. Thank God. Okay, I should say thank God. He wrote the right questions and answer well enough. I believe he wrote other things. So he got a good result for English and he's very good in that. Okay, so I, I would say that this is something I still remember. I told him that it says, not me who mow you. I think you you must believe in yourself, right, Kang Yao? You have to believe in yourself. You you don't believe in yourself. It's like your heart believes. It's like, Hanley, you can see beyond that tomorrow I'll tell you and Hanley. I'm not sure. I think that day we say already. Yeah. The, 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 the eyes, we can see far and beyond. But I think our heart will tell you. That's why uh, Kan Yao, you heard of this word in Chinese, uh, Yes, Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Then you think about Sing Hua Lu Fan, Yi Sing Yi Yi, Xiang Sing Liang Yi, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Have you heard of a Chinese idiom Yong Nao the Use hate you ma? No. Uh you go you go she says uh now 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 small kai hua now now small kai hua once yeah it says like uh now zi kai hua uh, that means you've gone with me, right? Yeah. That's why you see uh, all the chen is yong sing, uh, the heart. Uh. The heart is the one that you... So, you see, uh, coming to creative writing or even my English lessons or my history lesson, you must have the heart to understand. You must have the heart to put yourself into the person. It's not... So, so what you, if it happened that you write A1, uh, Kang Yao, sorry, uh, Han Ling and Tenyu, you don't mind, uh, 
Hang out. If you have A1 for your essay, but you happen that this essay you memorize, you happen to have done it two, three times before. So you're so I will use the word lucky. Yeah, you're lucky enough to get A1. But there are many essays along your life, okay, correct? In your path until you say bye-bye to this word. There are many essays that you're going to write. There are many topics that you're going to talk about yourself, about other things. Are you so lucky every time you get to hit the jackpot and say something? People will know already. People know, ah, Kang Yao, you're a man, you're a you're following the script and talk. See? So your A1 is no more to me. That's why I say I'm not interested in your A1 for your best essay. You must have, once you build your act, attitude, characters, and behavior, ABC, you will be able to have the discipline to write an excellent essay through a fulfilling heart, using through your gracious mind and with a holistic presentation. A, B, C, G, E, F, G, H. Okay, so let's go for the last paragraph. Okay, I hope you understand that, uh, all of you. Please, for, for goodness sake, when you write, please write something that is really bring out the essence of the love and passions. You don't just write for the sake. Uh, Doha Ling, to be honest, some of your essay that you wrote is really you can tell. You're too straightforward, too blunt, too serious, too no give chance or an attack. Well done. I like it. Uh. But to be honest, there's academy is different, right? Agree, Doha Ling. Yeah. No, well, it's very I tried, no I tried nodding again, but I forgot that my camera wasn't on. Yeah, you see, it's very sad, huh? to be honest. We have to follow the very typical Singapore MOE again. If I know MOE people are watching my videos, whether you agree or not, truly ask yourself. Huh? It's nothing wrong because MOE must have a set of, set of standards, criteria, pedagogy, ethos, uh, um, holistic approach, whatever you say it. Huh? Because in the MOE system, we are covering different types of students the hamala ability so yes you you need to do that and but i don't know maybe that's why now they change the psle scoring and others and now blending they are one to transform the entire educations i keep saying against against but uh, i have to put into a different perspective and look at the moe why are they doing the al1 psle and why are they changing this uh transformations along the way for set one, right? So, Kang Yao, you're involved, right? Are you? Right? You're the first yeah. of AL1, correct? Right? Yeah. Uh, so, do you like it, Kang Yao? Uh, no. No, ah? Uh? So, what happened, ah? Uh? Let's see, uh, Kang Yao, if woman you uh, after 20 years uh, or 15 years, you, by then, you think 30 years old, You're now 14, ah. Uh, okay, we don't talk too much, we talk too much, 10 years, uh, when you're 24, ah. Uh, and it happened that we have chance to meet. We shall maybe sit down at Lim Kopi. Uh. You know it's Lim Kopi, right? Like, her cafe. Uh. And then we see how the next generations using this AL1 affected. Uh. And the same thing, uh, maybe you, your son will be involved in this new system. Or maybe your son will start change. By the way, the PSLE is calling uh, Kang Yao. is when your uncle Raymond when was doing PSLE until 2020, uh, then they changed the system. Uh. Seriously, so you see how many years, 50 years then they changed the system. So when they were having this, uh, last time I can't get, they we have primary 7 and primary 8, no? Can you? Yeah. You, you heard about it, no? Do, do you know there's primary 7 and primary 8? No. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously, primary 7 and primary 8, there's no like uh, NA or NT. Then after that, the primary 7 and 8, yeah, people will feel the PSLE. Then later they come out path flight, north flight, and then later they come out NT. Then they later come out um set four, uh, they have to do Bible card. Uh, sorry, set three, they have to do religion study. Okay, religion study. That means you have to choose Confucians, Bible, Muslim, Islam, or Hindus. Then they only lasted for about four or five years. That's it. No more. I was not affected. Every time I want to affect it, I skip, I skip. So, yeah, you see, there's a long 50 years, the transformation. You see, sorry to say, uh, Kang Yao, you might be the first guinea pigs uh, to be tested by the MOE to see whether this AL1 is workable. Nobody will believe AL6 is from 45 marks to 63 marks. Uh, okay? People who feel max will know. And then there are people who say, oh my goodness, 
Then I don't need to study. What? Even I feel I also got six months. I really can go for, for secondary school. But because the your generation are Kang Yao, Tian Yu, and Han Ling, well, these generations is totally different from my generation, from the generation of the 90s, the, those born in the 90s. Those born in the year 2000 and above is totally different eras. Okay, seriously. That's why I say leaders are born. You see, when they are born, they need to have different sets of criteria to mold them. Really. They cannot use the old way. They, they always say, you cannot teach the old dog a new trick. That is very true. So whatever we have, I, I, I might need to change my mentality. I feel to accept it that MOE has changed the system. But maybe I believe, I strongly believe MOE has done a lot of research painstakingly to check through uh, why they need to change the system. I wouldn't be surprised, maybe uh, Tang Yao, maybe by the time your son may not have PSLE. They might have different types of exam to test them. Because when I premi one, uh, I was learning Bala fly a kite. You understand? Uh? Bala fly a kite. Bala bring a uh, bag to school. Very easy, right, Kang Yao? Correct, right, uh, Premi one, uh? Yeah. Now, K nursery is nursery, yeah? Uh, and K1, uh, already start Bala fly a kite. Already. Or even longer sentences. Dinosaur. Okay, two, three syllables. Okay, correct, right, uh? So, you see, it's different. Even now... Today I went to, to to change my tire and then opposite the mechanic there was this uh, uh children's I think it's nursery or kindergarten. You see the kids, they dare to wave to me and I even do a dancing in front of them. They still dance with me and say hi. My generations when I see stranger dancing with me and say hi, I run like hell, man. can you put on the shi because of social medias. Okay, but no matter how they change our uh, Kang Yao, I'm telling you, whether how much the how the world change, uh, I still believe leaders are born through the ages. May you continue, Kang Yao. Okay. okay. No, Kang Yao, Kang Yao. Hmm. Oh. Lead, uh, leaders are made, not born. If a person has desire and willpower, it can become an effective leader. Good leaders develop through a never-ending process of self-study, education, training, and experience. Leadership... Stop, stop, stop. Uh. I agree what he say here. Yeah, good leaders develop all these things. I agree. But if, to me, I still want to argue again. Uh, if a leader is not born with this kind of instinct, initiative, independence, motivation, no matter how you push, also no point. So imagine if the horse, uh, if you, you push the horse to drink water, if the horse or the ox refuse to drink water, no matter how you push the bloody head to the water, they will kick you up. So yes, just like Kang Yao Doma Yaya asks you, which subject you, you feel that you have difficulties in learning or no difficulties? Uh, I have difficulty in maths. Maths, huh? welcome, high five. So when you come to this, do you check, uh, check uh, ask yourself, uh, Doma, uh, is your father, mother, or your siblings, or even your grandparents, are they good in math? Uh, no. Huh? No, uh, confirm. Uh. Yeah. Uh, so are you born that you say, oh, you was a Yi Chuan. You heard this before, right? Kan Yao, Tian Yu, Han Ling. They always like to say this, like father, like son, or like son, like father, like fa like mother, like daughter. Do you, do you so yeah. there's a bit of ingredients there. Lah, okay, I'm not saying 100%. It doesn't mean uh, if you're not good in math, next time your son will be poor in math. Maybe, uh, how you like a son of your wife? Maybe your, your wife is damn super good in math. And then he has this. You know this, right? Can you? You know, you say that as you tie in or you tie in right? Tell you. No, 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 no. This one is not like I permanently have to wear. It's only when I like use like my phone or be, mostly mind, it was PC, mind. then I wear. But never my mind. parents don't. My it's parents okay. Don't wear. Ah, you see? So this is not born with it. This might be different things uh, because of the environment. Thank you for how they say it's through different environment like Apple like that. Right? Uh, uh, this is you buy a phone because you always look at the phone. You can see you. <laughs> then you can't talk about phone. You can see books, you can see the computer, right? It's unavoidable. Do you know there's a saying, uh, a joke? Uh, many, many years ago, you say uh, Singaporeans uh, no need to fight. Once they take away their spectacle of the army, uh, they all cannot see and cannot shoot with it. Chimbo uh, Westpac. <laughs> there was a joke on that. 
So I, I still think a leaders is born. Uh, right? Seriously, there will be some ingredient. Carry on, uh, Kang Yao. Leadership? Um, leadership is a process by which a, a person influences others to accomplish an objective and directs the organization in a way that makes it more cohesive and co coherent. Leaders carry out this process by applying their leadership attributes such as beliefs, values, uh, ethics, okay. a character, a knowledge, and skills. When we think of leadership, we often think first of famous individuals. We think of great political leaders, Washington, Mandela, uh, Lincoln. We may think... Excuse me, sorry. Of the leaders of social movements, Gandhi, um, Martin Luther King. We may think of sp spiritual leaders, Jesus, Muhammad, and Mother Teresa. We also include in our def uh, definition some of the infamous leaders such as Hitler, I.D. Amen, Amen, or David Koresh. Obviously, leadership is not always or automatically good in and of itself. Hey, go and Google it. Now, this David Koresh, if I'm not mistaken, is a cult leader in US where they kill a lot of people through his um, a toxic way of spreading the religions to the rest of his disciples. If I'm not mistaken, because the, the word David here, but I'm not sure of the same person I'm referring to. So you see, I'm right, right, uh, Kang Yao? There are three types yeah. of leaders. One, in fact, the three types of leaders are all are born to be leaders. Huh? First one is good leaders, like just now you mentioned Gandhi, Martin Luther King, and, and Washington. There are also bad leaders like these people here, okay, uh, Hitler, all these things, all these people. The third group of leaders, that is yourself. Leader build leaders. Okay, I want to be Sun Tzu. I want to be Kong Tzu. To be famous throughout the day until I die, people remember Uncle Raymond's the great tutor. But I don't want to. I want to build 100 Kong Tzu, 100 Sun Tzu, 100 Socrates. Okay, people like you, so that you can spread the good words and educations and good things to more generation, to more people. Okay, that's what I feel. Okay, thank you. Uh, Han Ling, are you able to read Han Ling? Most leadership is made, not bought. Believing leaders are mostly born in dangerous consequences. <laughs> the, exec the executives who believe that leaders are born give less attention to leader development, both their own personal development as well as the development of those they lead. They are focused on selecting leaders with the right stuff and expecting those leaders' natural abilities will mean organizational success. But nothing could be further from the truth. Ready-made leaders are not able to fit to any sizes. I totally disagree with this paragraph. Okay, so if I were to mark this essay, I would not want... Because, of course, yes, it's point. There's nothing wrong. We say that. But honestly, Han Ling, Han Ling, let's be... Uh, Tian Yu and, and Kang Yao, let's be honest. Uh, by reading this paragraph, okay, I will definitely give four, five upon ten. I won't feel him. Okay, honestly, honey, while you're reading, do you convince you not? Honey. Uh, I can't see you nodding. Or... Yeah, I agree, I agree. Agree what? I'm so sorry, my dear. What are you saying? Agree what? You ask me if I agree with this paragraph, I agree. So how many marks will you give? I, I why, why would I give marks if I just agree to the point? Disagree or agree? I agree lah. You agree then, how many marks will you give? Well, what does it have to do with agreeing or disagreeing? No, no, no. How many marks will you give to this paragraph for this? Let's say this student is writing this paragraph. Seven. Seven, la. so high. La. Okay, so you agree what he said. La. All right. La. You're logging. Huh? Okay. Okay, tell you how many marks will you give? Or you Do you agree what he said? La? Tell you. I agree, and I'll give it an eight. Whoa. Okay. Wow. How about Kang Yao? Uh, I agree. You also agree, yeah? Because all agree make, right? Okay, so how many marks will you give? Um, maybe, uh, wait, is it out of 10? Yes. Maybe, uh, uh, a 7. 7, uh, so it's very high, right? 
seven, eight, all these are A1, A2 already, uh, more or less. Uh, okay, they are natural abilities, okay. I, I don't agree with the last sentence. Ready makes leaders are not able to fix into any sizes. Okay, ready makes means they are tailor makes are custom. Uh it depends, uh, but I don't agree. Okay, so am I, am I okay, okay. Okay, why leaders are made and not bonds? Uh honey. Hey, no, honey, sorry. Why do I keep calling honey? It's raining, ah. Uh. Is it raining? Seems like. Uh can you? All right. Why are leader made and not born? Good leaders are made, not born. If you have the desire and willpower power, you can become an effective le leader. Good leader develop through a never ending process of self study, education, training, and experience. Okay, uh, okay, uh, I don't say it's not wrong. Uh. Okay, let's do this introduction. Uh. I purposely choose this introduction. I got a lot of essay to read through. Okay, and uh, yeah, quite a lot. Uh. So this is practice. Uh, I think we are hold on to this one first, uh, because uh, I want you to read this so we stop that one first, uh. Uh, can you ever uh, 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 Give me a minute, yeah. Uh. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> Sorry, I guess good. Okay. So ultimately, the answer is that both are true. So a person can be born with natural leadership's ability and someone can learn how to be a great leader at work, regardless of whether someone is a born leader. Everyone has a room to learn new skill and growth in leadership competency. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hand together, inviting Professor Han Ling to talk about a true leader like Han Ling is a leader who knows the road to success. Back to you, Professor Han Ling. Intro, the statement leaders are made not born reflects the idea that leadership is a skill that can be developed and honed through learning, experience, and personal growth, rather than being an innate trait one is born with. This perspective challenges the traditional notion that some individuals are inherently predis predisposed to be leaders or others are not. <laughs> You're very bad. Okay, <laughs> carry on. Okay, carry on. Paragraph two. Sorry, I don't, I don't know whether you're laughing or you're angry with me. <laughs> the way you put it. Okay, get on. Okay, number two. Hey, angry idea. I don't want to read it. Yeah. No, 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 no. For example, I just, Mr. I just Lee... find this very cute. Uh. This part here. I don't know why you write this way, but it's very interesting. Okay, get on. No, I just had the inspiration to suddenly shake the spear, you know what I mean? Yeah. For example, I, I'm quite fed up. Maybe I was saying, hey, why you say this? Uh, because I, I, I want to have bond, but, but you put it that way, you're creating the suspense for people to read paragraph two. Ma. <laughs> Carry on. For example, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew has served as an impressive leader of Singapore for so many years, shepherding the young and small nation through the early days. The way he did so was because he surrounded himself with the smart people and trusted them. Bit by bit, he built our country into what it is today. He didn't just make himself a leader, he made the country what it is today, which shows you that you can be a lead, you can make a leader through the times. I like this part, man. Damn it. When you copy or you use your own? I use my own. Wow, sweet lah, brother. Well written, man. Steady. Hey, please write down somewhere. He didn't just make himself a leader, no? He made the country what it is today, which shows that you can make a leader through the times. And and Han Ling, you're damn freaking right. He makes the leader number two, Go Chok Tong. He made the leader number three, Li Xian Long. He made the leader number four, the future to be, uh, Lawrence Wong, and more to come. That's what it means. People will remember Li, Li Kuan Yew as a legacy, but he will remember the rest of the leader with good names. And I still believe they are born to be leaders. But it's because where along the way they are being well groomed to a proper system in Singapore as the educations or infrastructure, securities, uh, honors and integrity, tenacities, government. Well done. I totally agree. That is the ingredients and recipe to have a good government in any country, in any part of the world. But then if you don't have the born leadership qualities, you no matter how how you go through courses, you still cannot make it. I'm so sorry, Kang Yao. Just like me and you, uh, if you, you don't like math, you do not have the passion with it. You are like born there, okay, I, I'm sucks at math, but not true. Uh. Along the way, you can change this attitude and I pass my math. 
Okay, Jia Yu Ah Kang Yao. Okay, carry on. I like this sentence. Ah, Tian Yu Ah Han Ling. Very nice. Carry on, please. Carry on, please. Han Ling, carry on, please. So I'm struggling to unmute my mic, but experience is a crucial factor in leadership development. Through real-world real experiences, individuals can learn from successes and failures, adapt to various situations, and develop the resilience needed for effective leadership. Each challenge faced and decisions made contributes to the growth of the leader. Nelson Mandela's journey from young activist to an iconic leader in the, illustrates the idea that leadership is not an innate quality, but rather a skill that is developed through experiences, challenges, and a deep-seated commitment to larger purpose. His imprisonment proved to everyone that even the dullest steel can be forged into the sharpest, shiniest. <laughs> I like the way you describe more. Huh? Ruining, that's more. You're ruining the moment. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want you to continue. But the way you ruin is so <laughs> dullest steel to make it. And you make it the the steel like personification like that. <laughs> well done, man. I like the shoe. You see. So this one topic is about success and failures, and we can really imply, apply, supply in leadership qualities. Carry on. Can you start? Can you read from here again? I like this one. I like to hear this again. <laughs> Even the dullest steel can be forged into the sharpest, shiniest blade. His ability to rise above personal struggles, prioritize the greater good, and foster unity through forgiveness showcases the transformative power of leadership that is made through adversity and dedication. Definitely. Definitely, but I still think he's born to be a leader. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. Martin Luther King Jr. is widely regarded as a great leader due to his exceptional qualities, actions, con and contributions to the civil rights movement in the United States. He has some reasons why he's considered a good leader. Vision and purpose. King had a clear and inspiring vision for racial equality and social justice. He articulated a powerful dream for a future where people would be judged by the character, not the color of their skin, as he famously expressed in his I Have a Dream speech. This vision resonated with many and motivated them to join the movement. Nonviolent philosophy was also nonviolent philosophy was King was a staunch advocate of nonviolent protest and civil disobedience. He believed that love and peaceful resistance could overcome hatred and violence. This approach not only helped garner widespread support, but also showcased the moral high ground of the civil rights movement. Effective communication. King was an exceptional orator and writer. His speeches were eloquent, passionate, and persuasive. So you tell me, uh, if Martin Luther King was not born to be a leader, how can he speak so well? Don't tell me he go for classes at that time. Uh. I don't think they have this kind of classes for Hitler or for King. Agree not, aren't they? Yeah, I agree. Because if you say now and now, you can teach some phonic class, la, Toastmaster, la, uh, how to do presentation skill, la, all these, uh, got skill future to make your presentation skill very well, know how to speak properly in front of the audience, how to stand properly, present yourself, gesture. Yeah, that one, okay, you can train. But now you have this small skill future <laughs> of course for them to train. They are born to have this kind of, wow, immense leg. Conclusion. In conclusion, while some people may naturally possess certain traits that align with effective leadership, the idea that leaders are solely born and not made overlooks a significant role of personal development education, experience, and environmental influences in shaping leadership abilities. Leadership is a dynamic and multifaceted -fac skill that can be cultivated and refined over time. I think you should add on one more or two sentences there. Therefore, I strongly feel that leadership qualities is through years like a raw diamond molded to be a shining diamond, through years of what well, uncharted experiences. That would be wonderful if you add on this, and that will convince the readers and the market that yes, leaders are made and not born. And I hope you can use this for your future essay or even your future speech about leadership quality, or even use it in your scout 
uh, that you want to next year, Martin, ma, ha, Leng, next year you are bye bye to the school already, uh, graduated, right? So maybe you can write this to your junior and help them uh, improve their speeches or uh, whatever it is, okay? Now, next, thank you, Professor Hanling. Next, we have Professor Tian Yu. He says that uh, a tougher leader, a tougher leader like Tian Yu is a leader who knows the different paths of success. I like to use a tougher leader like you because over the past two years or three years here yeah, with me, yeah, I can see you transform from really a, a, a very um a very docile, not weak, uh, docile means very gentle at this, but in a really mold you up and toughen up and willing to to brace the challenges and uncharted sea. So Alright. Okay, intro. A villain is a bond. They are made. It's a very similar code to leaders. Leaders can be considered both heroes and villains to lead their to lead to glory for their own ambitions. However, are leaders truly made or were they born with the talents to lead people? Both are very reasonable. Though if we take a closer look into it, the difference is a chasm. Let's give an example. A person born with a gifted talent to lead, yes, this person can become a leader. But what happens if no one helps the person to utilize his ability? There's a quote. Too great a talent will turn itself in the end. This quote... This code means that if your talent is too good, it will eventually be the reason for your own fall. So we tell the be by ah, I think yeah. the sentence tell not only tell the be by. Some leader are born to be good. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Some people are born to be leader, but because over the years they make it itself. Hey, you see, I'm so lucky. I'm born to be a leader. I'm I'm that good. I I have everything, but because of the pride that be before himself, and because of that particular reason, he he, he was blind. By whatever it is, and it look down so we go in currently, it looked down on a lot of people, and therefore you are good. Yeah, so what you have a lot of talent, so what you're born to be a leaders. But remember the three different categories of leaders, the good, the bad, and the leader of the leaders. He belongs to the second one. Paragraph two, sir. All right. All right. A great example can be a professional gamer. If the person is one of the best players in the game, everyone will love them. However, most people will also want to see them see the fall of the person to make a to make them a laughing stock. Yes, I, 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 I agree, sorry. I totally agree with this bloody statement. I hate that that's called bullying. Uh. Yeah. But it's similar. Similar to leaders, you can be the best leader in the world has ever seen. But to be able to stay at the top is a different thing. So this paragraph says um whether you are a born leader or not born leaders, it all depends on fate. Uh. 你的命运, uh. Seriously, very sad. Lah. So these are the... Wow, I, I feel very bad for these type of people. No? Seriously, they are being met by a puppet. Carry on. All right. Another great example can be Lee Kuan Yew, the former president of Singapore. Prime Lee Kuan Yew, Minister, uh, Prime Minister. Oh, shit. They, they, they are... No, you know, yeah, you know, when I was young, right? I always mess up prime minister and president. So I thought Lee Kuan Yew was actually the president for once. I think yeah, I realized okay. he was prime minister because those two so I thought they were the same. Never mind. So next time, uh, sorry, uh, mm -hmm. if your son asks you, Daddy, what is the difference with prime minister and president? I feel I actually now that I think of it, actually not very sure, but if I'm not wrong, president. President is like the one that makes the overall calls, but then Prime Minister is like the one that tells the, the other people and stuff, like tells to the to us, the citizen, or like if there's anything they want to make, right? They, I think they might have to ask like any big moves they have to make, right? They, I think it has to go past the president first if they if the person agrees or not. And then after that, then the Prime Minister can make the move or something like that. Okay, then how come president in US is president? How come US got no Prime Minister? How come the England... Uh only got prime minister and then they got no president but they got king. And both of countries are democratic and republic. Actually, oh. no, no, like, I feel like president and king is pretty much like in a sense around the same thing. Yes, right. Just you're that right. uh, the king, right, is like king and queen, they are like more like they are blood is like born as like a loyal royal All blood right, who, who has something. Know. But then prime minister, I mean, no, yeah, prime minister and both president, it's, it, you don't have to be like come off from a very like from a family that is like very good or something, it can even come out from like the bottom, and then you can just rise to the top anytime, any day, and then after that you can then your next few generation will be considered as the best law. 
something like that yeah. around the line. You look at the dynasty in Tan Song Ye Ming Qing, the dynasty in China. The emperor is like the president, right? That means they tell me you Chen Xiang, right? Chen Xiang is like a prime minister. Lo. So the prime minister is like a second in charge, so called. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. So, okay. Li Kuan Yu is one of the founding fathers of Singapore. He was selected as the prime minister when Singapore separated from Malaysia. So how does this link to being a good leader? Well, a leader is someone who can lead others. That's what Lee Kuan Yew did. He lead, I think it's meant that we led, led Singapore to where it is today. Lee Kuan Yew helped Singapore build and set its foundation. Then before sadly passing on, he left a huge impact in Singapore, which led to where Singapore is today. Oh my god, anyway. Lee Kuan Yew is a leader made. Alongside with his talent to lead people, the citizens of Singapore constantly supported him, pushing him beyond his limit to leading Singapore. Thus, this is what made Lee Kuan Yew a great leader. Mm. The way you write this, I, I will have to agree to some point. Uh, it's true. Uh, because he was forced under the circumstances like um, when they have to move out from Malaysia, the separate from Malaysia, and then after that, he had to build a Singapore start from scratch, uh, from nothing. Uh, from a swampy village to uh, the, the first world today. Uh. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, like, you long, like yourself, you start from nothing. Sure, you... one, one, uh, one thing I think I made wrong was uh, where so as I say that they, uh, Lee Kuan Yew was the first prime minister. Because I remember, remember last week we did uh, the tic tac toe thingy where you asked who was the prime minister. It was actually not Lee Kuan Yew when I searched Google, it was someone else. Yeah, David Marshall. Yeah. No, no. So, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Uh, I wouldn't consider David Marshall as a prime minister. He was a chief minister. Uh, correction. Uh. So I actually uh wait us uh can you Lee Kuan Yew is still considered the first prime minister of Singapore. Yeah, it is still considered, but then I remember when I searched who, who the question, right? Someone yeah. else popped out for a while before, but then I'm pretty sure that one is an unofficial. It's just no. the one to like subsidy take the place, uh I think. Uh, the question was asked like that. Before Singapore independence, it was David Marshall. But if the question asked, uh, after the independence of Singapore, who was the first Prime Minister? That will be Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Okay? Uh, so there's okay. a different um, After the uh, 9th of August, then it's Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Before that, okay, it was David Marshall. But because later he gave up, because he realized that the British is not going to give Singapore independence. So, ah, uh, Okay, I, I respect that guy. He's one of the best lawyers in Singapore. Isn't David Marshall the one who also made our textbooks? Oh, in your See? textbook? Uh? I think some, uh, but yeah, I need yeah, to check. Yeah. But yeah, never mind. All right. Also for... study, also study. Mm, okay. Okay. okay, an example. All right, for the third one. I don't know why I wrote an example, but okay. An example is an ancient hero that was saluted in the Hall of Fame for South Korea. The hero was also known as Admiral Yi Shun Shin. Yi Shun Shin is known as one of the greatest Navy commanders or even the greatest Navy commanders to the South Koreans and their history. Well, one really of his yeah. great... Hmm? Really? Yeah. I think based on Google, he was. They put okay. he was the yeah. best. Uh, one of okay. the best. Carry on. All right. One of his greatest achievements was South Korea fighting against Japan in the <laughs> the funny things that are not away. Nguyen Street. Nguyen Street. Near Jindo Island, off the south coast, southwest corner of the Korean Peninsula. Sula. The fight also known is also known as the Battle of Miyona. Admiral Ishishi was outnumbered compared to his enemy, yet that didn't stop him from sunking more than three times the enemy ship, the Japanese ship, compared to the South Korea ship, making Japan surrender and retreat. His leadership was the reason why South Korea was able to win, off, win the fight against Japan. So he was born at the right time and the right place to lead the leaderships to, to protect South Korea. Yep. If you don't born at that time, I mean, somebody were born with maybe different names already. So I feel that there must be a reason. I'm, I'm using religions as a reason. Uh, maybe, uh, okay, I can use my own religion or, or, or re I can use my own reasons or a religion reasons or historical reason to prove that there is always someone when there's a dire street, when the country needs someone, pop, there's a leader come up. So like, for example, Su Wukong, he was born from a stone, right? Then he is made to become a uh, Shen Xian Ma. 
like Tan San Zhang was born to be Tan San Zhang, then become like that. So I feel that, okay, sorry, yeah, you might think religions may not be the right things, but that is what I feel. But that's my argument. Ah. Okay, come. All right. Conclusion. Unlike talents, hard work is a direct hard work is is a direct counter. We often hear people say that say hard work beats talents, which is true. Like leaders, not everyone is born to be one, but rather they were made to be one. Given enough practice and motivation, any any of us can be a leader. Leader isn't something only for the talented or the gifted, but rather for anyone who has the passion and interest to lead others. So are leaders made or born? They are made. No one in the world is born to be whatever they are meant to be. So leaders are not born. I think I agree. Leaders can be born, uh, but if along the way they may not be made to be a good leaders. If leaders are born, sometimes they don't even cannot be a leaders. They are born to be leaders in one way, but maybe they do not use their their criteria, their 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 advantages, their strength, and end up sorry. Agree. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Tian Yu. Next, Professor Kang Yao. A young leader like Kang Yao believes in himself to prepare for more great success to come. Definitely, yeah, you're a young Wusu guy. You need to no pain, no gains. You need to know that you are born to be a leader, but along the way, you have to mold yourself to go through a lot of uh, ups and downs and become successful. Back to you, Kang Yao. A leader is not born, it's made. You can always have a chance to be a better leader. This means you, that you can be more of a leader by improving yourself. I believe that a leader is made by the atmosphere and the parents and how they raise them. Anybody can be a leader, but it's up to them if they are up to the challenge and are willing to do what is needed to be done, to be one. A leader can also have different motives and reasons, so they can either do harm or benefit, but it's up to the leader what they want to do. A leader is crucial for leading a group. As long as the leader is good, the group will prosper. Leader is not a person but a platform for others to achieve their goals and spread their ideas. This is what a good leader is. This can increase your reign as a leader, even if you pass as people you have led will pass on your leadership. I totally agree this platform. Uh, it's true. Uh, it's a platform. Uh, a leader is, that's why I say, I think this is a third group of leaders. Leader build leaders. Uh, leader of the leaders. Leader build leaders. Leader make futures leaders. Very true. Well said. Well done. Next paragraph. What I think is a great example of a great leader is Genghis Khan. He unified the Mongolian steppe under a massive empire and had conquered many parts of China and other parts of the world, which is amazing. Which is an amazing achievement. Although experienced many hardships and mistakes, he improved his tactics and made him a better leader. Despite having passed hundreds of years, he's still being discussed by people and how great his leadership was. Thus, a leader is not born. So he, yeah, when his son took over, his son was born to be a leader to be the next in line. But his son was not as good as his father. And finally, his son gave birth to King, uh, uh, Kublai Khan, the grandson of Genghis Khan. And Kublai Khan was really born to be a leader and further expand his grandfather empire to three continents. Then as the rest that are born leader, now later, less than about 100 years or so, uh, the, the reign of uh, Mongolia, uh, the, the Yan dynasty was less than about 100 years or so, I think. Bye-bye. And gone to the Ming Dynasty. So you see, that it would, that I would be that the leader is not born really. That guy is not born to be a leader. Really. Thank you. Let, let's go next one. Uh, Raja Raja Chola Wan is the best leader uh, ruler of the Chola Dynasty, extending it beyond the limits of the Tamil tradition. He's also able to have a great le uh, relationship with the Chinese. Raja Raja inherited a uh, kingdom whose boundaries were limited to the traditional Chola territory centered ar around Tan Tanjabar, 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 Tanjabar yeah. uh, region. At the time of his ascension, the Chola then, uh, kingdom was re relatively small and was still recovering from the Rash Rashtra Tukha invasion in the preceding years. Raja Raja turned it into an efficient, efficiently amidst administered empire which possessed a powerful army, uh, army and a, st a strong uh, navy. During his reign, the northern kingdom of Venji became a Chola protectorate. 
uh, and the Trola influence on the eastern coast extended as far as uh, Kaling Kalinga in the north. Thus, this shows the resilience and pres perseverance of Ch uh, Raja Raja Chola one, and show he made and and how he made the Chola kingdom such a great one. This is a lot of description here, which is sometimes in exam you may not be necessary to tell, but you can cut short say that he extend his empire through his leadership skill, through ups and down. Uh, he went through a lot of uh, um setback to make today's that this kingdom was one of the great. So this one actually can skip uh, if you want, but it's okay. All right, I like that because this is the part where you tell him, tell me when I'm reading that you went through a lot of how from a small country they start to build the bigger one and take over the reign. Just like Genghis Khan. Last but not least, please. Lastly, despite all I said, I still believe that there's some factors which shows that leaders are born. Oh I, be I believe that genetics plays a part in making someone suitable or even able to be a leader. The personality can be a big factor that can affect the prob probability of them being a leader. People with natural leaderships are definitely able to help them uh, be a good leader, but it does not define a leader what they would be as they would need to learn the rest. Well done. Yeah, sorry, sorry. In conclusion, leaders are made not born. Studies and articles had already been published and made that shows that leaders are 30% born and 70% made. More of a blend of both made and born. Now, however, this is still up to the person's opinion. Exactly. Both personal opinions and their own trains of thought to decide whether it is true that leaders are born or made. Well done, huh, the three of you. I hope that uh, this, this uh, essay that we spent the whole entire month of August writing it will really be fruitful for your future's uh, essay writing and give you some feedback how to write a good leadership essay. Uh, not end yet. So next week, we have still got one more week to go before we end the entire success and failures. And next one will be a lot of uh, exam. Huh? So take note. So this is the one. So what do you think which leaders are, uh, lead, are born to be leaders? And which leaders are made to be a good or bad leader. So you can go and do research if you want to. So what do you think? Which leaders are born to be leaders? So I purposely, yeah. So now you talk about make, make, make. Uh. So now I want you to really go and find out which one do some research, which leaders are born. And then the second question, so the total there are two questions. Uh. So which leaders are made to be good or bad leaders? This one very easy, straightforward, sir. Uh. So you need to do this as a homework if you can. If not, then next week we have to discuss and based on your research. So the rest of this one, we'll talk about it next week. Okay, uh, I think we stop here, right? So it's five. So the this one's uh, done with the, okay, right. Uh, so I hope next week you all can give me your answer whether you're coming on the September. Wait, uh, okay, let me stop. Like